six by now, I guess. So, I'm going to talk about uh, how to optimize generic programs within your mining in GHC. Generic programs are this really cool thing, high abstractions, so they can write a program once and it works for other data types. But there are these conversions to and from representation types, and this tends to make things slow because they stay in the code, do not get optimized away. This makes programs slow, no one wants slow programs, so let's fix it. I'm going to talk about um, first how we would optimize a generic program manually, and then how I can convince GHC to do it for us. Our running example are going to be naturals and enumeration of natural numbers. So if you have a data type of piano naturals with zero and successor, you can imagine that you can enumerate them, so produce a list of all naturals, by uh, getting the zero and interleaving it with the successor of the remaining natural numbers. We need a fair interleave operator that just takes two lists and takes an element from the first and one from the second, etc. In this case, not really necessary, but in general, you can imagine that you have constructors with infinite number of elements in each side, so you need to interleave. Now, this is how you do it on naturals, but if you're doing generic programming, you typically have representations with some of the products. So if we are to frame that for the purposes of our example, let's say that we represent naturals as a choice between a unit or a natural again. That's our retnet type. And then we need a conversion function that tells us how to go from these representations back to our real naturals by just doing case analysis on the sum and injecting back. Now, to enumerate on these representations, we need to know how to, how to enumerate units and how to enumerate sums. That's pretty trivial, it's the code you see here. And now we can get an enumeration on our representation of naturals simply by, well, it's an enumeration of a plus with a unit on the left, and then enumeration of nats on the right. And uh, we map the conversion function to nat over this list, and then we have again a list of naturals. So now we have two enumerations on naturals, the one that is actually operating on natural numbers and the other one that is operating on the representation. We want to see how we can go from the second one to the first, because that's the optimization that we're interested in. So, let's see how we do this by hand. We start with this definition, and then we start by just applying some definitions. We inline enum rep net, so we get enum plus here. We inline enum plus itself, so we get uh, the interleave of two maps, then we line enum u, so we're now focusing here, we're applying a map to a single element list, so we can just inline that and we get the uh, single element list with left unit. Uh, let's go on, then here we have to do some more work because now we have a map over a interleave, and given the free theorem of interleave, we can distribute the map over the interleave. That's what we do, so we now have two maps, one on the left and one on the right. Again, here on the left is a map to a single element, so we can just apply the function. Um, now we have two nat applied to something, we can just inline two nat, and then two nat is a case analysis. So it's a case analysis on a constant, left unit, which we can directly replace by zero, the constructor of nat, so we're in good shape on the left. Now on the right we have a map applied to a map, so we can use the function, composi function functor composition law to fuse these two into a single map. Now we have two nat after right, and if we inline the definition of two nat, then it's going to do case analysis, see your right, and that's just exactly what the successor constructor is. So we got to the end with our enumeration of naturals, fully specialized, no conversions. That's great. Now how can we get GHC to do this for us? In GHC, and if we have the context of an actual genetic program library, we have, uh, well, more or less what we've seen already, but just the more complicated sums, products, units, a to and from in some class. Then there is a um, instance function. The generic functions are given by providing instances over a class. So we have an instance for units, another for sums here, and products which you can ignore. And uh, somewhere we're going to have the actual definition of enumeration generically, which is basically applying a map of the conversion function to the generic enumeration. Okay, so what do we do in GHC? First, we put in line parameters over the definitions of the generic function to apply these definitions, as we've seen in our handwritten uh, derivation. Then we also need to inline the to and from conversion functions. There's this little uh, annotation here, which I don't have time to talk about. Anyway, if we do this, we get to this generated core code, which is not very good, because you can see there's still sums here, and we start by mapping the to function. So that's not good at all, but it's mapping to over the interleave. 
So we know that we're lacking the free theorem of interleave, which we can add as a rule. In doing so, we get to something much better, but we still see that we have a map over x2, and x2 is a map. Well, this is our functor composition law, which we add as a rule. And if we do so, then we're in pretty good shape, because we already have the successor case being correct. We just have here a map of a function to a single element list, which is not being optimized away. Because, of course, map is a recursive function, so GC will not inline it. We can add a rule to do the specialization for us. And these three rules on the inline pragmas, this is the code that GHC generates for enumeration on naturals. After all, generic stuff. So it's all thrown out, and we have a perfectly specialized version, exactly like we want. So that's good. It all works, and I've shown you why it works, and I have a draft paper that you can read on my website that also shows you why it doesn't work, but it's nothing fundamentally bad. I think it just doesn't work because of bugs or infelicities in the inliner that I'm looking into fixing. So yeah, that's the conclusion. It can work, it can be made to work, and GHC already has, already has all the necessary infrastructure, so we just need to convince it to do it. And uh, unfortunately, I only know how to do this for things like generic <coughs> deriving and instant generics, so not for SYB, for instance. But that's it. Thank you.